Hi, my name is Tim Sasserchi, Product Manager of AS Interface at Pepperl & Fuchs. Today I want to talk to you about voltage drop on the ASI network. ASI, which is an industrial bus, has power and communication on the same two conductors. We have a starting voltage on the power supply of about 30 and a half volts. This compensates for any of the voltage drop on the cable due to the copper resistance. The operating voltage of a standard OSI module is about 26 and a half. So that gives you about four volts that you can work with before you're going to have to um, make the power supply closer or make the a conductor um, length shorter. Okay? Some of our modules actually work down to about 18 volts, so you want to check your data sheet to make sure you know what the operating voltage of the module is. So what we typically do to calculate the voltage drop, we know the current, which is about 330 milliamps for this setup, 12 sensors, three modules, and we know the resistance of the cable, which is about 13 and a half ohms per thousand meters. Okay? If we take those calculations, we'll notice we got about a 0.8 volt drop. So let's measure that now just to see if we're close. You'll notice the starting voltage here is about 30.3 volts. Let's see what the ending voltage is. You'll notice it's about 29 and a half or close. So you get about a 0 0.7, 0 0.8 volt drop. Now, this is not something that you're going to have to do in practice. What we've made for you is what they call an AS Interface Power Calculator. It's an Excel sheet that you can load the numbers in and figure out what your voltage drop is actually going to be. All you're going to need is the length of the cable, in this case 90 meters. You're going to need the model number of the OSI module, which is VBA 4E G11 ZAJ-F in this case. You've got three of those. And you're going to need the operating current, the no load operating current as on the data sheet of these VT18 sensors. Once you have that, you can load everything in and it will automatically calculate what the voltage drop will be. You just want to make sure that you're under that uh, 4 volt drop. So now let's look at the Excel sheet, the AS Interface Power Calculator, and see if we can calculate what the voltage drop would be on the network. Okay, this is my AS Interface Power Supply and Network Checking Utility and I want to show you how to calculate the voltage drop at the end of the network. Um, it's a very similar network that we had on the desk. So the first thing I want to do is pick my AS Interface Gateway. It's a two-channel Ethernet version, which I know is VBG ENX K20 DMD, so it's on network one. And um, then I need to choose the I.O. module. So I know it's a four input G11, so VBA 4E G11. All right, there you go. So with selection of that module, it tells you how much current is available, and it wants me to fill in the operating current of each sensor. And because I got three AS interface modules on the network, I'm going to just uh, copy this one and paste it two more times. And the spool of AS interface cable that I had on my desk was 90 meters, so. This is how far away these three modules are, so I'm going to put the 90 meters there. And now I'm going to need the operating current of the VT18 sensor that I had connected to all the modules. So I'll, what I'll do there is I'll go to the website. Okay, just type VT18. Actually, VT18. Okay, so it's this VT18-8-H laser here with the background suppression. And if we open the data sheet up, we'll see that in the electrical specifications, the no load supply current is 35 milliamps. So that's the number I want to put in my sheet. Even though it's conservative, it's still the, uh, the right number to use. So 35 here. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it to the rest because I had all the same sensors. Alright, so now I pasted that in. Now you can see there's only a 1.6 volt drop. 
starting at actually it was 30.3 the power supply that I use so I'm going to put that starting voltage here and the total voltage at the end was 28.7 and that's great because it's above the 26 and a half volts that I want that the uh, operating voltage of all of my modules is okay so next thing I want to do is see how many of these modules that I can put on the network before I exceed the 4 volt drop or before I go below the 26 and a half volts at the end of my cable. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. I think I can get maybe 8. We'll see. Copy and paste all these sensors. I'm assuming that I'm going to have the same sensors and they're always on on all the modules. Okay, so 4.26 volt drop. Seems like a little much. Let's confirm that. 26.04 is the end voltage, so that's too low. I am going to take one off. All right, now the resulting voltage drop of 3.73, and which results in a final voltage of 26.57, which will run every Aussie module that I make. So perfect. So there you have it. That's the voltage drop, and that's the. Uh, um, ASI network layout that I can have. Okay, now that we've done the voltage drop calculation on the AS interface power calculator, you'll notice that that voltage drop is a little bit more than what we do in the measured case. That is simply because the no load operating current is higher than actually measured here to compensate for um, overall temperature ranges. It, it could be a, l a little bit higher. And the same with the Aussie module you'll notice that on the data sheet it says, it says something like 40 milliamps and uh, the actual measured value is probably only 20 to 25 milliamps. So these values are a little bit higher but it's okay, it's more conservative than, than really what you need.